Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so I've gotten some requests on doing a full walkthrough of a reskin. So I'm going to start that series today. Um, this will probably take a few videos, but I think it'll be a really good experience for you guys. So you can know the entire process from uh, having the template to putting out an actual app. I'm not going to go over getting a template because I already have a video on that. Uh, so take a look at that video if you haven't looked at that yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my template. So for today, I'm going to do a simple e-commerce template. So here we go. First things first, I just duplicate the project. So I always have the original. Um, you don't ever want to edit the original one, just in case. All right. So let's do that. So I'll just call this um, e-commerce app. I'll just call it Commerce Pro. The name doesn't really matter. Sometimes having a cool name will help, but um, it's really not that big of a deal. Actually, oh my god, this is the wrong one. Here, let's delete that real quick. Um, all right, here we go. This is the right one. Um, here we go. So I'm just copying it like I did a couple seconds ago, I'm calling it Commerce Pro. All right, now I'm opening up the project. So the first thing that I always do is click on this button right here. This is the name of my template, Favorite Fashion. So these are gonna be the main things that you want to edit um, for the app. This is the name of the app, which I am calling Commerce Pro. So change that. And this is a really important step. Every app has to have a unique bundle identifier. So you're going to want to change that too. Um, I always start mine with com.chung. Uh, that's the recommended way to start it. Com and then your name or your website. And then I put the name of the app, Commerce Pro. And uh, version one, build one. The rest of the stuff you should not have to change from here. Um, this stuff is all basically preset from the template that you got. Uh, if this isn't already set, select your name from this. Uh, this is the profile that you'll use to upload the app. So we'll start off looking at the storyboard, which is the user interface. iOS is nice because you don't have to really code any of the interface. You can just drag and drop stuff. So it's great for beginners. Sometimes it's a bit slow. Okay. Um, so this is what the entire template looks like. Every screen in the app. There's the login, a little profile page, search, um, the posting view, a EULA agreement. Um, so this is a pretty average e-commerce app. I built this one about a year ago. So first things first, let's come up with a color scheme. Right now it looks like it's orange. So you go to background color, at least uh, for the image view that I have, you go to background color and you can choose your color there. I'll go with like a little uh, minty color here. So that's going to be my color scheme for this app. Now I just go around, I change the color of everything. All right. And then go up here. Change this. Oh 
and do those later. Um, so basically I'm just changing a lot of colors right now. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, no big deal here. It's just a little tedious sometimes. What the heck? Okay. So then I want this tint color to be a bit lighter so that you can differentiate for the dots. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Um, okay, almost done. The rest is just selecting a lot of buttons. So you can just like command click on these and uh, select every single one, change all the colors at once. It has to be in the same view controller to do that though. Oh, I'm getting a little slow. All right, so the final part, just change all these. Usually I have like a little gradient on these to make it look cool, but I don't wanna waste time doing that right now. I'll make them all the same. So the first step is completed. I changed the color scheme of the app. You can change the colors of the tab bar, but I like to keep it black. It looks pretty clean that way. And it can go with any color, it makes it less work. Then I make sure you gotta make sure you change the name on everything. You don't want it saying, okay, I'll do that, Commerce Pro. Uh, this is my EULA agreement. Apple makes you have these if there's like any uh, selling stuff or posting things online. So you basically just wanna change the name that's within this agreement. I won't bore you guys with that right now, so I'll keep that how it is. Uh, oh, there's one button I forgot. All right. Okay. So this is all set. At this point, the main part of the user interface is finished. So usually what I do next is change the icon. So to get to the icon step, I kind of went through that fast. You press back here on this blue icon. You come down to app icon source, press the little arrow and it'll bring you to your icon. This is what my old apps icon was. Um, so if you take a look at my other video, I show you how to make icons very quickly. So if you follow that video, you'll get all your icons and then you just drag all the correctly sized icons into here and uh, that makes it very easy. These are just tab bar icons from the template. Um, I would just keep these the same, doesn't really affect anything. Um, I think that's about it for that. So all these files here, um, it's just like the code for the app. Uh, you really don't wanna change any of these. Uh, if you really want to, you can edit some of them to put in new features and stuff but I really wouldn't recommend it, especially if you don't have any knowledge coding and it can just end up taking a lot of time and doesn't make you a lot of extra money. So I would not recommend that. Um, so that's about it for changing the interface. I think I'll probably end this video right now. Um, the next video will be the next step, which is getting the database set up for this app. So, um, yeah, this is about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll end this one here. Be sure to uh, stay on the lookout for the next video because I should be uploading that very soon too. Um, this is like the main portion of reskinning the app, which is just changing colors, changing icons. So this step is very important. All right, thanks for watching this one, guys. I'll be sure to upload the next part really soon. Thank you.